Crossley of Pumps Plus Incorporated. 2. Centrifugal Pump Definition Centrifugal pump can be defined as a mechanical device used to transfer liquid of various types, as the name suggests. It relies on the principle of centrifugal force, it converts the energy provided by a prime mover, such as an electric motor, steam turbine, or gasoline engine, to energy within the liquid being pumped. Three types of pumps Pumps positive displacement kinetic reciprocating piston rotary vane gear screw blow case centrifugal regenerative turbine special effect. Four types of pumps continued to the power of positive displacement pump operate by forcing a fixed volume of fluid from the inlet pressure section of the pump into the discharge zone of the pump. They add energy directly to a movable boundary, which imparts the energy to the fluid. Kinetic pumps add energy directly through a rotating part in the form of velocity and converts the velocity to pressure, centrifugal pumps, regenerative pumps, unit pump where the impeller is the only moving part. It is used when high head and low flows are required, special effects pumps, miscellaneous pumps. Five types of pumps continued to the power of centrifugal pump overhung impeller impeller between bearings turbine type close coupled single and two stage separately coupled single and two stage and suction inline inline frame mounted separately coupled single stage separately coupled multi-stage axial split case horizontal radial split case vertical axial split case horizontal radial split case vertical Six definitions, overhung impeller type, the impeller is mounted on the end of a shaft which is overhu to the power of from its bearing supports. Example, close coupled pumps where the impeller is mounted directly on the motor shaft, separately coupled or frame mounted where the impeller is mounted on a separate pump shaft supported by its own bearings, impeller between bearings type, the impeller is mounted on a shaft with the bearings at both ends, the impeller is mounted between bearin to the power of. Example, axial split, horizontal split case, axial split vertical split case. 7 overhung impeller close coupled. 8 overhung impeller, frame mounted. 9 impeller between bearings, horizontal split. 10 impeller between bearings, vertical split. 11 axial and radial flow, axial flow pump, the impeller pushes the liquid in a direction parallel to the pump shaft, most of the pressure is developed propelling or lifting the veins on the liquid. 12 axial and radial flow continued to the power of, radial flow pump, pressure is developed principally by centrifugal force action, the liquid enters at the center of the impeller and is directed out along the impeller, perpendicular to the pump shaft. 13 Operating Principles As mentioned earlier, centrifugal pump relies on the centrifugal force. When you swing a bucket of water around over your head, you will find that as you increase the speed, the bucket is pulled harder against your arm. This pull on your arm is the centrifugal force. It makes no difference if you swing the bucket horizontal or vertical. If the speed is fast enough, then the water will remain on the bucket. 14 Operation Principles Continued If you punch a small hole on the bottom of bucket, the water throws a stream and the distance the water travels is proportional to the centrifugal force, the same force that kept water in the bucket, is how the simple centrifugal pump works. 15 Operation Principles Continued Centrifugal pump consists of a rotating impeller inside a stationary volute, casing. Comma, liquid enters the pump through the suction inlet into the eye of the impeller. The speed of the rotating impeller then forces the liquid out through the discharge nozzle. 16 Operation Principles continue to the power of, the liquid enters the inlet of the centrifugal pump under atmospheric pressure, and flows into the eye of the impeller. The centrifugal force exerted on the liquid by the rotating impeller, moves the liquid away from the impeller eye and out along the impeller veins to their extreme tip where the liquid is then forced against the inside walls of the volute and out through the discharge of the pump, due to the reduction of pressure. Occurring at pump inlet and impeller eye, liquid is drawn into the pump in continuous flow as it moves through the pump. 17 Operation Principles continued to the power of, the shape of the volute casing is such that it is wider at the discharge point than where the liquid is first forced by the impeller against the volute. When the water from the impeller strikes the side of the volute, the velocity is increased. This accelerated motion is called kinetic energy to the power of, which is the energy in motion. The shape of the volute permits the liquid to expand, which slows down the motion of the liquid. As soon as the liquid slows down inside the volute, kinetic energy is transformed into pressure. This pressure then forces the liquid out of the pump discharge nozzle into the outlet pipelines. 18. Nomenclature and Description 
19 nomenclature and description continued to the power of. The diagram shows the main parts of the centrifugal pump. The impeller is fastened to the shaft. The shaft passes through the pump casing and out through the stuffing box. Portion of the casing through which the shaft extends and where seal or packing is placed, in order to keep the liquid from leaking out of the casings between the stuffing box and the shaft. Packing or mechanical seal is used. The shaft is supported by two bearing housing and is then connected by a coupling installed between the pump shaft and the motor shaft. 20 nomenclature and description continued to the power of 21 different